Good evening, boys and girls, wherever you may be. Thank you very much for tuning in to episode 71 of Love at First Scent with me, Persilays, coming to you today from uh, on YouTube. And I'm just going to, as per usual, go um, onto the tablet to make sure that everything is coming through. Uh, I would not be at all surprised if not very many of you are going to tune in live to this one today for for two reasons. One, very simply because I, I didn't give people very much notice because it was only a few minutes ago that I realised I would actually be able to go ahead and do this video. But also two, because um, I think it would be fair to say there's probably quite a lot happening in the world at the moment. Well, at least one person said hello. Who is that? Indecent. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Um, and oh Vitali, Vit oh, always can be relied upon Vitali. good evening uh please feel free to keep comments questions hey hi okay well it looks as though quite a few people have tuned in which is which is very very gratifying very very touching um i wasn't uh sure if i would be able to do this um i i hope that it's not going to be too long um that we reach a point where somebody is going to be watching this on YouTube, you know, in as a as a recording. I hope we're not going. To, we're not too far away from a point where somebody watching it as a recording is going to listen to me now and say, "What is this guy on about? Why is there a problem? Why does he? Why is he saying that not many people might be tuning in around the world?" <laughs> Which is basically my way of saying that I hope we get through this quickly and that it's not going to be long before we can look back and 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 look look back at at, at this moment as something that is um, in the past, but I know things are not uh, very easy for people around the world at the moment. Um, and I have to say that it feels kind of strange, to say the least, to do a video like this uh, right now. Um, but um, to mark the 10th anniversary of the blog, I um, posted a few thoughts on Persilase.com a while ago about the, the appropriateness, really, of continuing to write about perfume at a time when so many people around the world are suffering and scared and worried um, more so than ever before. I mean, obviously, I fully understand that at any given moment, there are always plenty of people around the world suffering. And I got a very, very touching response back. Uh, I think pretty much every single person who got in touch with me said, no, please going, because um, uh, because we need, at this moment in time, perhaps more than ever, we need to take the time to just um, find find a few moments of, of calm and peace in our lives, um, and and appreciate the the beauty that 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 is still around us. Now I'm not ignoring the comments, and I will get to a perfume. You know, this is this is not going to be one of the long videos, um, because this is this is the focus of our attention for today, and I'll explain why. But I, as I say, I don't want to ignore the comments. The whole thing is meant to be live interaction here. Eric says hello. Gunmetal says hello. Nelly says hello from Minnesota, USA. Floating Man says afternoon. All hope you and your loved ones are all well. And the same goes from me to you. Yes, thank goodness we are all well at the moment. And Nelly says, but it's a happy distraction. Everywhere I go, there's so much news centered around COVID-19. We need this. Well, it's it's really, really, really sweet of you to say that. And if I'm not careful, I may actually burst into tears. This is probably the moment where I need to tell you that it doesn't take a lot for me to burst into tears. Bambi did it to me the other week again. Bambi's been doing it to me, I think, since I was about five. But never mind. Uh, hope all are staying safe, says Nelly. Yes, absolutely. You know, let, let's let's all give each other a bit of mutual support. Uh, Gunmetal agrees. Etherealist, nice tag name, says it's a good day to be alive. Yes, absolutely. Every day is a good day to be alive. So, why are we doing this today? Well, amidst all of the stuff that is happening, um, some of you may be aware that in the UK, I think it's only in the UK, perhaps it's in it's in other countries as well. Today is National Fragrance Day. <laughs> so, I don't know how surreal is that. But anyway, today is National Fragrance Day. Um, and uh, National Fragrance Day is the culmination of National Fragrance Week. National Fragrance Week normally would see quite a few um, special events being uh, taking place across uh, in shops, uh, special offers, etc., etc. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea um, how those events went because the things to do with work absolutely took over to my time completely for the last week things to do with family as as i'm sure is the case for, for for most people so i have no clue how national fragrance day went but i knew that the culmination sorry how national fragrance week went but i always had in the back of my head that 
one of the things that we've done on National Fragrance Day, 21st of March, for the last few years, is to post a, a picture that has come to be known as a selfie. It's a campaign that was started by the Perfume Society, the, the, the sort of perfume membership group that's based in the UK, but it is international. Check them out on you know, their website, perfumesociety.org, I believe it is, and they're on Instagram as well. And they say, um, they, they started this thing a few years ago. It's actually an award-winning campaign. Um, where people are invited to post a picture on Instagram, on social media, with with a perfume that they love, and tag it um, Smellfee. So that's S M E L L F I E, and tag the Perfume Society as well. And I thought, I thought, no matter what else happens or doesn't happen, I want to post a Smellfee just so that there is some kind of normality. And so I did just do it a little while ago, a few minutes ago. And the perfume that I wanted to use for my Smellfee was. Uh, Nahema or Nayama from Garlin, um, one of my all-time favorites, as I'm sure regular viewers and regular readers will know. And I thought, as I say in the Instagram post, I thought, well, what should I go for? And I thought, well, at the at the moment, the main message that I would uh, that I keep focusing on, that I think it's important for all of us to keep focusing on, is hope. And I think one of the most hopeful things we've always got around us in the world are flowers. Roses are amongst my favorite flowers and one of the best rose perfumes that I can think of that I always absolutely adore is um, Galin's Naima. Um, you will also know that Portrait of a Lady is, is up there as well, probably a close second, but I thought, well, let, let's, let's go for a classic choice rather than a modern classic. So, six minutes and 45 seconds, Persilés, you need to make yourself more concise. I think we should smell it and then we can talk a little bit about it and then we'll be done and depending on how it goes I may go straight into another video because I've got a new Galin release as well or I may try to do that perhaps tomorrow it depends on other demands I've got uh, comments here a floating man says no gym <laughs> is going to be a hard one for me really helps me keep away those blues yes absolutely I mean physical activity is very very important for that there are there are things um, we can we can do at, at home I suppose depending on the size of, of the house. Back to Insanity Home Workouts, it shall be then. Okay. Um, Jen Zafrag has said, hello from South Carolina. Hello to you as well. Thank you for tuning in. Hope everyone is okay. Just discovered your channel. Love your videos. Thank you very much. That's very, very, very kind. Um, Eric says, length is never a problem. <laughs> I'm not going to respond to that. Rose is one of my favorite notes, says Nelly. Yes, absolutely mine as well. This is this is the um, the sort of refill of Naima that came out a few years ago for, um, I think it was called the Ami de Fête. Um, hello, my liege. <laughs> hello to you as well, Ashfaq. Uh, the, the, the sort of um, not entirely elegant sort of plasticky gold um, container that Garland did for some of their perfumes. And you, you, you could, the, the refills that were for, um, went for them were, went inside them, looked like this. Oh God, I can already smell this thing. And this is just extraordinary. This is, by the way, the um, the EDP uh, refill. Uh, you, you will, a, a lot of you will be aware that, Garla, that Nama is, is, is getting harder and harder to find. The extrait was officially discontinued a little while ago. Uh, there's an interview on Persolase.com with Thierry Vasso where he talks about that. Um, this, in case you're wondering, by the way, obviously, you, I think you can tell this is not a real bottle. This is a factice, which I picked up picked up at a, a an antiques um, shop in in southern England of all places. I thought, what's it doing there? And and the, the lady who I, I guess owned the shop very very kindly said, I don't think the stuff in there is real perfume, you know. And I said, no no no, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> or can you imagine? Um, anyway. Please, please, please do me a favor. If you have never smelt Naima in any form, because the EDP is really great, the EDT is, is, is pretty good too, the extra is, is the best. The, the, the opening of Naima, the first few minutes of Naima, are, are without any question one of the most one of the one of the most word silencing, heart stopping, um, achievements in perfumery, I think, of all time certainly of of the, the the final quarter of the twentieth century. It is. Oh, 
I mean, you know, words fail me. It, 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 it is like you are being, it is like you have been placed, and I, I'm sure I've said this before on, on these videos, I think, but never mind. At least Naomi can get its own special video today. It is like you are being placed in the, oh, please spell it. Sorry, it's, it's Nahema, okay? N-A-H-E-M-A, -E uh, which I think refers to an Indian a princess from Hindu mythology, I think. We'll look that one up. Somebody look that up for us. I think she was the princess of fire or something like that. You are placed in the middle of this extraordinary olfactory storm happening around you. And I really, really cannot think of another perfume that just conjures so many extraordinary images. So around you, this thing is raging. Rose petals are on fire. Rose petals of the most incredible shades you can think of. You know, the most, the most passionate carnal reds, the softest pinks. There's honey swirling around in there. There's there's pepper bursting all around you. You know, there's 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 a very 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 sort of strong peachy citrusy facet um, at at. At, at, at the top, there, there's there's a leather intonation. You can already feel how the base is probably going to be quite sort of darkly vanillic. It's it's just this maelstrom. I still have the most vivid, vivid, vivid recollection of the first time I tried this, and I was so fortunate that it was that it was in the extra. And of all places, it was I think at a branch of it may have been Debenhams or perhaps it was John Lewis. You know, it doesn't matter. But I just sort of went. I think I was about to say whoa, but all I could do was just sort of go. And from that moment onwards, I was hooked. And it is tempestuous and passionate and really, really carnal and yet extremely calm and peaceful and meditative in the centre. It, it, it is just this whole world and I and I think it's no coincidence at all that the, the you know the original flacon this hasn't been available for a while how cool to be able to sort of hold this up I, I, I think it's no coincidence at all that it's based on this idea of the circle and yet you also have a kind of flame motif look look up the original bottle and the original coloring uh, of, of the packaging because it, it it played with this sort of flame idea and yet it was a sort of eternal flame a peaceful flame um, and it, it is it is the um, pepperiness that that I always particularly love, and the, the duskiness. It's it, it it is it is just without compare. And um, by most accounts, well, it, it it was a flop when it was released. I think I think you know sort of the world wasn't ready for it. It was made by Jean Paul Garlin, by the way, and and uh, apparently it's one of the favorite things of his that he ever composed, and. Over time, it, it came to be appreciated as a true great. I would like to uh, read a little bit about it, and I'll tell you from where in a sec. Oh, actually, you can see from here. Because um, what I see here in front of me, which is most annoying, is not exactly everything that you see. I need to kind of look over there to see what you see, but never mind. We, we can cope with that, I think. Um, do let me know how you're doing, by the way. You know, Feel free to share stories of how you're coping with the world situation at the moment, or maybe you don't want to talk about it at all. Uh, let's see what comments I missed. Eric says, Naema was my mother's signature. Fantastic. I don't remember her wearing it, but I do remember the gold cage parfum de toilette atomizer on her dresser. Fantastic. Floating man says, never smelt this. You have got such a treat in store. Class, classic says Umberto. Uh, Nelly also says, same here, never had the chance to smell it. Do you think Trésor from Lancôme was inspired by Naema, says Constantine. Inspired? Um, I suppose there's absolutely no reason why it couldn't have been inspired. I mean, that was, if memory serves, made by Sophia Groisman, but please correct me if I'm wrong. So if somebody's watching the recording and thinking, Persele's made a boo-boo, uh, but it, I can see why you would pick up the comparison with Trésor because that is also a really, really hot, full-blooded sort of rose, isn't it? Um, I haven't smelt Trésor actually for a, for a long time. I remember really, really loving it when it came out. Eric says, from the Arabian Nights Tales. Ah, okay. Uh, I believe, I don't know if it has a history 
if it has a history of edgy that before that. Okay, fine. Nelly says, according to the web, Garland Naima was inspired by the French actress Catherine Deneuve. And Cosine says, finally, I catch one live. Greetings from Romania. Thank you very much for tuning in. Okay, so I think th this is also an opportunity for me to, to, to mention um, these uh, four excellent publications. I think I mentioned them already. They've just come out from the people behind Ne magazine, as in, you know, N-E-Z, the French word for nose. They've done four. They've done a tome, a very, very slim volume like this on Rose, one on Jasmine, one on Narcissus, and one on Patchouli. Uh, really, really interesting, full of all sorts of articles about uh, the sort of historical context of the materials, where they come from, how they're extracted. And at the back of each one, they also talk about a few classic examples of uh, the perfumes that, that use that particular note. I actually wonder, they must have Trezor in here. They, okay, they, they, I love these, this, this is, this is, this is geek-tastic, okay, in each of these publications they do these sort of genealogies of, of, of the note and they put, they put Trezor in the violet rose category and they have it as sort of following a line from Yves Saint Laurent's Paris and Naima surely must be here because they've got a little review of it. I wonder where they... Okay, they put Garlanama as a fruity rose, which which actually makes sense because that was the thing that was was kind of different about it. And they say that if you sort of want to follow the genealogy of Naima, you could look at Ce Soir Rouge Jamais or from Goutal, Parisienne from Yves Saint Laurent and Trésor Midnight Rose from Lancôme. Uh, if you want to follow the Violet Rose genealogy, you can go Paris from Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Trésor from Lancôme, uh, Rose et Reine, so that's what, Roses and Queens from L'Occitane, and then Missia from Chanel. Okay, yeah, th this is this is this is proper geek stuff. This is it. I, I really really love these books, uh, these mag publications. Anyway, so let us finish with what they write about um, Naima, and I should give I should give the author. A credit. Who's written these? Let's see if I can find, give the author a... Okay, the, the, the selection here has been done by Jeanne Doré and Will Inrig, but I don't know who's written which bit, so thank you to Jeanne and Will. Now, Jean-Paul Garlin confessed that he was inspired by Catherine Deneuve's character, I know some of you have just been saying this, uh, in Benjamin the Diary of an Innocent Young Boy by Michel Delville when he created Naima. Back then it was, on, uh, it was uh, one of only a few roses which handled the flower in a more modern way pairing it with a fruity note as opposed to the powdery aldehydic roses of the time. Naima is a rose that comes across as natural and yet is loaded with artifice. One of the first uses of damascones, molecules with a sweet, fruity aroma, which is fitting for a recreation of all the olfactory surprises a real rose has to offer. The accord, velvety like a wild peach, also has an aroma of almond or even cherry, which gradually evolves into a powdery dry down bathed in vanilla and tonka bean. The green and aldehydic notes in the opening are specifically there to give this vegetal resonance and a delicious freshly cut effect. Ultimately, this accord swathes the fragrance in a gentle warmth, contrasting with its fresh, innocent nature. Um, <laughs> I like the write-up. I don't really go with fresh, innocent, um, although it does say gentle warmth contrasting with fresh, innocent nature. I think I think there's more of the sort of passion and less of the innocent in this, but but it doesn't matter. So uh, have I missed anything? Uh, people were talking about the film. Eric says, "Funny that Groisman did both of those Trésor in Paris." Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe not so funny. Um, this is how these things work, after all. So I think because I haven't taken up huge amount of time on this one, what we may do is stop and then come back and do a real, real quickie to show you a brand new Garlin. So we can go from a classic to uh, a brand new one. But if you would like to participate in National Fragrance Day, just to kind of give yourself a few moments of calm, then take a picture of yourself with Love a Quickie, says Floating Man. <laughs> I think you need to chat with the, Never mind. Um, uh, you've made me lose my train of thought. No, uh, please. Um, if you'd like to participate, then take a picture of yourself with a, a bottle of perfume. The idea that the Perfume Society is putting forward is a perfume that makes you feel powerful, that makes you feel like you could face anything. I decided to go for hope. It doesn't really matter. Just do a picture of yourself with a with a perfume. Tag it, smell fee. Tag the Perfume Society and also tag me because I'd love to see what you're doing. Look after yourselves and um, be in touch and see you in a few minutes. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs>